Well, hello, Internet, and welcome to part two of my How to Design a Website tutorial. I have received a ton of requests from you guys to take this basic theme that we created in part one of this tutorial series and then take the components that I have created since, which are cross-browser, and make them work inside of that WordPress theme. Here's the featured content tool, and there's links to these tutorials if you missed them by chance. And here is our little product slider. So basically, the end goal is to take those two components and combine them into our final theme, which is what you see right here. And I'm going to try my best to explain exactly what goes into doing that. The first thing you're going to want to do is you want to take those folders that contain all the code for those two separate components. The product slider, just so you understand, is this guy right here and it's called JQ Slider 2. That's the name I gave it. And then this is just the Coda slider. This is the featured content tool. So what I want to do is drop those two folders directly into my theme. And a zipped archive with all this stuff combined is available underneath this video, so you don't have to worry about that. I got these two guys, and I'm dropping them directly into my regular theme folder inside of WordPress. And this is the themes folder, which is inside of WP content. And I just dropped those folders directly inside of there. And now I got to go in and access that code. I'm going to start off with the code slider. So I'm going to go inside of index.html inside of my code slider folder. And I'm going to copy some of this information from inside of here over into my header file. So I'm going to need to link to my style sheets for the code of slider. So I'm just going to highlight those right here. This is kind of an advanced topic, but you guys asked for it, so I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to copy all of that. This is links to all the style sheets and all the jQuery code that is needed to operate this guy. Then I'm going to jump over into my header.php file. And right inside of the head section, right after title, I'm going to paste that information inside of that. Then what I need to do is actually point at these new locations where this information actually exists to make this guy work. So then to do that, inside of WordPress, I need to go inside of hreference, and I'm going to type in PHP, type in blog info, and if I want to point at the template directory or the directory for my theme, I have to type in blog info, template URL, and then close that off and then close off my PHP section. And what this piece of code is going to do is it's going to jump out there and it's going to automatically grab the reset.css file in this situation and place it inside of there so that it grabs it from the proper folder. And I'm going to have to do this multiple different times. And of course, I'm going to have to put a forward slash in there and type in coda slider dash two and then another forward slash. And that's going to get that file inside of the folder. And if you don't know what I mean, let's take a look at it. So this is coda slider two style sheets reset CSS. Well, if we open this up, we go code of slider 2, that's this folder right here, style sheets, and there is reset CSS. If you can't see it, there it is right there on your screen. So this is what I'm pointing at. So I just have to tell it where it exists inside of my theme. All right, now basically I have to do this over and over again. So I'm just going to highlight this and copy that. And then jump down here and paste that right in there. It's going to work again. And then for the JavaScripts area, I'm just going to copy this part right here, which is going to point to my themes directory. I'm going to paste directly inside of there. Forward slash, coda, slider, two. And now it's going to be able to grab that information as well. Let's just copy this. And then we can just paste it inside of there and paste it again inside of there. And pretty much everything is going to be pulled in just with those couple little edits there. And just to prove to you that it actually works, I'm going to file save it. Then I'm going to have to jump into index.html again. I'm going to have to come down here and later we're going to make this 100% WordPress, meaning dynamic. But for now, what I'm going to do is jump down inside of here and just grab what I need just to prove to you that it's all working. And to do that, I'm going to come right here. This is the actual beginning of the code of slider. And I'm going to select everything, pass nav thumbs until it gets to right here where the code of slider wrapper ends, and I'm gonna copy that. Then I'm gonna jump over into index.php. Again, I'm inside of my theme right now, and inside of WordPress, basically you're gonna to wanna to make all of your changes in this situation, if this is an artist or template, right around the, the art layout cell area, or right around in this area, this is called the loop. If you haven't seen any of my other tutorials, I know you're confused and you're gone. So let's just come in here and we're gonna highlight this, and we're just gonna get rid of the loop, because I've decided I don't need the loop in this situation. And I'm going to come the whole way down here, and then I'm going to paste in my new code of slider information. And I'm going to file save this, and let's see what happened, just with those couple little changes. Reload it, and you can see the feature content tool is there. However, the images are not. Well, the reason why is I'm not pointing at them yet. So I can easily fix that, make this guy go away. And I'm going to scroll the code of slider up here, and point at the actual location for all of these images. So what do you think we're going to do? Well, we're going to cheat 
and we're going to go up to the header and I'm going to come right here where we were able to point at the theme directory and then down here where we go to code a slider 2. I'm going to copy that and jump back down into index.php and then I have to point at the actual location for the images. So we're just going to paste this inside of there, get rid of this guy, scroll down, paste that inside of there, paste that inside of there. And I'm just pointing at the images folder inside of the theme directory and then do the same thing for the thumbnail even though it's in essence the same sort of thing. And that's it. File save it, reload it, and you can see, there it is. There's the feature content tool, and it's going to work perfectly. And later on, I'm going to show you how to make it more dynamic so that all of the images that show up inside of here are really cool and dynamic. Well, now let's go and get our little product information to show up inside of there. This is going to be a little bit tougher. Basically, what I need to do for this guy to work is I, again, need to drag the folder JQ slider into the theme directory, just like we previously had done. So let's jump back there. And there it is, JQ Slider 2. So I just dragged this, threw it in my theme directory. And then what I'm going to need to do is go into jQuery2.html. And I'm going to take this information in here in regards to the actual code that we created. And I'm going to put that in a separate file so that I don't have this junking up my whole entire WordPress theme. It's pretty simple. I'm just going to come here. I'm going to select all the code from that component. Scroll down here. Don't need to include script. I'm going to copy that. And then I'm going to create a new file called jQuery Product Slider. And then I just pasted that code inside of there. It's jQueryproductslider.js. And then I'm going to make a little tiny bit of a change. I'm going to put document.ready inside of here to make sure that this function fires as soon as the document has loaded. So that's all I did. I copied my old code and I saved it in a separate file in a JavaScript folder inside of the jQuery slider. If you don't quite get this, leave a comment below. I'll try to explain it better. Okay, so now what are we going to need to do? Well, we're going to jump into our jQuery2.html. This is where all the component information is stored. And again, we're going to take out all the styling and save it to a separate file. So we're going to come in here and copy this. Copy it. And then in the CSS folder of the jQuery Slider 2 component, I'm going to create a new file called jQueryproductSlider.css. And I'm going to paste in all of that CSS styling inside of that guy. And I'm going to file save it. Now basically I took all the component parts out of that one file and I'm going to spread them apart into different files and different folders. This is how you design websites. So that our, your theme and your whole entire web design isn't all junked up with all times of code. So like I said, this is a little bit more advanced than what I normally do. Don't worry, the next part of the tutorial will be much easier to understand. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here to the actual component and I'm going to grab all of the required code to make this guy work. And I'm going to copy that and then I'm going to go back into my header.php file and I'm also going to come here and say end of coda JavaScript and beginning of coda style sheets kind of break that up a little bit and come down here beginning of jQuery slider JavaScript these comments really 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 help out and let's paste this inside of here and then what I'm going to need to do I'm going to steal this from up here where it's pointing at my theme copy that and I'm going to paste directly inside of here so this is going to be the location for my jQuery slider so I'm going to go jq slider 2 forward slash CSS and I'm going to do exactly the same thing again. Come down here, paste that side of there. Come down here, paste that side of there. And this is the actual code for getting my web font to work. And let's just jump up there and keep this out of the other mess and paste it inside of there. Now, there's one thing that I forgot in regards to jQuery code, and that would be the individual file that we just created. So I'm just going to copy this, paste that inside of there. And then right here, I'm going to take this out. And I'm going to pay reference to the jQuery-product-slider.js file, which we created later, earlier in the tutorial. And then I'm going to copy this and then put end of jQuery slider JavaScript. Copy this, beginning of jQuery slider, and then this is going to be style sheets. I'm going to link out to the style sheets, end of, and let's file save that. And again, just so you remember, I'm in header.php. That's where I'm putting all this code. And then I'm going to link out to the one style sheet that I have. If you don't remember, it's called jQuery product slider. We just created this a second ago by copying and pasting. So jump back into the header section, and I'm just going to copy this, save myself some time. Go copy, scroll down here, paste inside of there. And then because I'm going to be pointing at the jQuery slider folder, and then... I have my style sheets in a CSS folder. And like I said before, it's in jQuery prod slider.css. Let's file save that. 
And then basically we just got to copy the HTML that we had previously. And it was inside of this div called demo. So I'm just going to copy that. This is why it's nice to always put comments. I know where demo ends. So I'm going to copy that. Jump into index. Scroll down here. Go to slider wrapper. And then paste all that code inside of there. And there you can see it went and bounced itself in. Of course it can't find the images. We're going to fix that in a sec. And how are we going to do that? Basically copy in just like we did before. So I'm going to go to my directory for my theme and just change a couple things up here. Paste inside of there. And then we're just going to go J Q slider to images and then copy this down to the next images or the next image. Paste that inside of there. Come down to the next one right there. Paste inside of there. Jump back over here. Reload. And there you can see the components are in place. In the next part of the tutorial, I'm going to show you how to fix little errors that crop up, like for the fact this is going to need to be a margin on the left side of here. And then there's other little things that I'm going to play with to make it look all nice and tight. Leave any questions or comments below. Otherwise, till next time.